Hey folks, today we're going to do something a little different. Obviously, this is the home of solar climate forcing on you too. The effects of solar particles, the interplanetary magnetic field, the weakening geomagnetic field of Earth and the global electric circuit. We have plenty of videos listed for you below this video in the description box, all free to watch, all very informative about exactly how the sun is affecting Earth's atmosphere, long-term climate, short-term weather. But in our new supplement, we not only continue on with all of the recent updates in the field, but we make a pretty profound claim. And what better place to test that than the internet? Of course, when we say the supplement, we mean the supplement to our previous two texts, including Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Between the third edition and the supplement, it is a barrage of confirmations of both the solar control and the failures of modern models blaming humans, which we have also shared with you as they have come out in the peer-reviewed journals over the years. But here, let's see if the internet can find what I couldn't find. I believe I found them all. Every paper for at least a decade which claimed the global warming was all or almost all anthropogenic. But you know what I never saw? Solar particle forcing and the magnetic fields in the solar wind, used in the ways we know they affect the global electric circuit, not just upper-level chemistry and ozone, and not just over long time scales, but at instantaneous global scales. I didn't see them factoring in the weakening magnetic field of Earth, which affects particle forcing, ozone, and even the irradiance heating and energy balance. It's literally a goose egg. Not one single paper exists which blames us for global warming and has the total heliophysical influences included, the geomagnetic changes over time, or the breadth of the particle forcing pathways to rapidly, very rapidly, and profoundly affect the atmosphere all the way down to the surface. Now, while I couldn't find any peer-reviewed papers focused on this total picture, many of you recall, NASA tried to debunk the idea that the magnetic field was a climate factor. It led to a back and forth that most agree is not a good look for the big dogs in science. These are among those videos listed below, by the way, and so far, no, we've got nothing but ad hominem opposition to the facts presented against an entire NASA climate team. In summary, there isn't actually a debate in the journals yet. Even the papers we used in our books never put all of those things together in a global scale. Yet even with pieces missing, they found enough to blame the sun. What I'm also saying is that you can go check all the papers that say climate change is our fault. Find me one not focused on irradiance, but including particle forcing, the interplanetary magnetic field, the influence on the global electric circuit at near light speed time scales, and then, including how Earth's magnetic field is weakening, the thing standing between energy from space and our planet has been letting more and more and more in over the last century as it weakens and the magnetic poles shift. Yes, professors, I realize it takes a supercomputer just to run the models without the sun, let alone the global electric circuit, but it's not like I have one either. Professors or NASA scientists who want to take on the challenge of including all of these items to make up for there not actually being one in existence, I'd say you would cheat us all by not addressing not only those macro scale pathways of forcing, but both the direct and indirect effects. Remember, if it touches the thermosphere, it touches the global electric circuit and the ground. Okay, internet, prove me wrong.